I want to move into a condo. I can't wait to take a trip with my man. Hello. Y'all, I just got so many plans for myself and my life. I'm going to give me probably a Chanel bag or... Yeah, I really want Chanel. Welcome back to my channel, Royal Family. And if you are new here, welcome. This is where you get the Betty experience. I am your host, the Royal Betty. And in today's video, we're just going to be vlogging. So today, I'm just going to be vlogging me um, doing some work for my business. I'm getting ready. I kind of rebranded, so... I'm um, just preparing everything for the, my relaunch, and everything is 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 not like how I want it. Like, for instance, my stickers, they're like I gotta figure out how to get them, how to get the color to pop. So for now, I'm just going to print black stickers, but I wanted to like. I think I still, I'm not really sure. I'm really kind of confused on. I'm just trying to stay consistent with the content. And right now I'm just doing some stuff for my business. But I just feel like, okay, so I'm about to relaunch. Okay, so I'm about to like relaunch my business and the stickers that I had at first, like the design of the stickers, I really loved them. Like it took me a minute to come up with the whole like design and concept. Um, it took me a minute to create it, but like I don't want to spend no more money. So I'm just trying to work with what I have until my business starts to make a consistent profit. So I think I'm just going to do black stickers for now until I can figure out how to make the colors on the stickers pop because I love the designs and stuff, but I don't know if I have the wrong printer or if like, I don't know, like I got to figure out how to make the colors on the transparent stickers pop because I have the Canon I got the Canon iX 6820 printer and when I print on transparent paper it looked like it's popping until you take it off the white background. So then when I take the stickers off the white background, the color looks so washed out. But I, I did a little research and I saw that they said that a computer with white, I mean a printer. Okay, so I did some research and they said that it's the white toner in the printer that makes the colors pop but this printer has black toner i even called canon like does this to ask them do this printer take white toner like can i switch it to white toner they said no i think they said none of their printers take white toner so i gotta do a little bit more research to see if i need a different printer i play with the printer settings like so the stickers I told myself like I'm not gonna be stuck on one thing I'm just gonna use what I have and what I have is black ink that works well on transparent paper because it's black so it shows up so I said I'm gonna use what I have and as I go I'm gonna like uh, perfect it because like when I first launched I did not have everything together I was still trying to perfect my labels, so I didn't have no labels really. Like, I was still trying to learn how to, uh, exactly what I just said. I was still trying to learn how to get the colors to pop on the labels, so I wasn't satisfied with that. So, it's just a lot, y'all. I just, and I, I want to be consistent on YouTube. Um, I haven't been going out much lately. I don't know what y'all want to see, so... I'm just going to work with what I have until like my life get a little bit more lit and popping. 
Um, but yeah, y'all, it's just like a lot, man. I really want uh, I I'm thinking if should I have two different labels, like some that'll be like more mature and the other one that'll be like more playful. I I'll, I'll show you guys my labels actually. Give me a second. And y'all, I want to do a hair video like where I'm reinstalling my wig, but I need some got to be the glue. So I'll be doing that soon though. Well, I have some, but it's just the, the top is broke off. So I'm going to get a new one. But um, yeah, so these are the original labels that I came up with. They are so cute to me, but I will probably make some slight changes to it. Well, I'll probably just keep it the same, but, and then I got the ingredients on the back. Oh. So. And then these are the new ones. Like they're just plain. But the this will be smaller. The text will be small. I want it like to to like this small. And then nothing probably will be on the back because that's like, that take a lot of work, like for me to redo those labels. I mean, well, I could just print it. I probably will. I could just print it out black. I could just use this and just print it out black. So yeah, I'm just trying to see like, I'm gonna have to change some of the ingredients on the back, but. So. So yeah, y'all, I've been sitting here like, I gotta get it perfect, I gotta get it perfect, I gotta figure out, before I release it, I gotta figure out how to get my labels vibrant. It looks vibrant, but like on certain lip glosses, it look washed out. It looks vibrant because of the color of this lip gloss, but I'm, it can be way more vibrant than this, even on this, this color, so. I gotta figure that out. So for now, I'ma just probably go with these labels. I don't know if I wanna put the ingredients on the back of this. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out, what I'ma do, but I said that I can't let the labels like slow me down or stop me because I would really sit here and try to figure these labels out every day without working on any other part of my business. And that is not going to have my business successful how I want it. So I just told myself, okay, work with what you got and then we can perfect it along the way. We can come back to it, we can figure it out. Once we start making income, then we can come back to it. We can spend money, more money on it. If we need to, we can buy a new printer, whatever. So just work with this. But these, these are my original labels. But then again, also, I also I was like, I don't know if I want to go with my original labels because I want more of a mature design. I want my brand to be more like, my brand is Ray Betty Cosmetics, and I want it to be like, like more bougie, more mature type thing so that's why i'm thinking like maybe i'll have two different type of labels to show both sides like because i love my original labels and now that i'm using 
the new labels i'm just like oh i kind of want my original labels too so i kind of don't want to choose but i'm just going to use what i have for now and then along the way i'll figure it out so right now i'm just working as you can see i'm in the kitchen because i love sitting here but as you, I have a desk in my room, but this is just, I just love sitting here. I love the vibe. So I'm getting everything ready for, um, well, I'm just organizing everything really. Why is it so dark? Yeah, I'm just really getting everything organized. I'm writing notes as they come to my mind, like things that I need to do. Also, that is a tip. If you are a business owner, get you a planner okay you're going to need to write like everything down like for real so make sure you have a planner so that you can just pick it up and use it whenever you need to but yeah really that's what y'all about to see this video like 10 minutes already so yeah, I was just going to show y'all like me working, um, yeah. y'all while i'm like working and stuff i just be listening to other like business tips and stuff from people who's already doing it and who's already successful so i just be listening to their videos to see what insight that i can gain So what I just did, I just printed out, um, I just printed out my receipts from what I spent on my business. I still got a, a few more to print out, um, but I would suggest that every time y'all purchase them, either y'all print out your bank statement and highlight that or go print out your receipts because you're going to need that for your tax.
Yeah, I've been praying now stuff. I've been praying now stuff like all day. So now I'm about to I'm about to scroll a little bit on Instagram. I'll probably be on there for like five minutes. But Yeah, I'm about to um, look on Instagram, and then I'm gonna start, um, like, I gotta staple all my, like, receipts. And y'all, I advise y'all to keep up with your receipts, like, as soon as you buy something, print it out, because that's just gonna help you stay way more organized, because I'm printing out everything that I bought like throughout the year and it's like a lot of different places that I gotta go to print the receipts. Although it is kind of relaxing because everything is like right here. And um hold on y'all, I forgot my ring. So yeah, I just wanna say that y'all as soon as you purchase something and it says uh, completed, as soon as the purchase is completed, I would say print out your receipt or once your order says shipped or something, print out everything that you spent on your business so that you can have everything organized for your records and stuff, for your taxes, and everything like that. So, yeah. Y'all, I, I just been like, I'm, I just been getting up like every morning, creating better habits for myself. Like I started back exercising. I started um, like getting up early every morning, working on my business, instead of just like letting the day go past. So like, I've been really dedicated and I know I'm gonna keep it up because I'm gonna go. <laughs> I ain't got no break. Okay, like Kenna Man said, I'm gonna go. I'm ready for my business to boom. And I probably do like a vlog like every day, like showing y'all me working on my business. I don't want it to get like repetitive though. So if I do something exciting or something, we'll see. I probably vlog again tomorrow because. It's just relaxing, and I want y'all to be able to see, like, I did that from scratch. She did that from scratch. So, if y'all hear it right now, we is in 2021. It is February 25th. It's 6.03 p.m. If y'all here with me right now, I appreciate y'all. Y'all about to see... Y'all about to see the come up. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So, I appreciate y'all for watching and rocking with me. Um, yeah. What the freak? I'm trying to staple it and like, I don't know why these papers be acting like they don't want to stay. This is 
to some music, but then again, I don't. I be I listen to music so much that sometimes I just need quiet. Sometimes I just need quiet. Y'all see what I did here? I got a little lamp right there. Cause it was get it was kind of dark over here, so so yeah, I had had to put that in. And if it looks like I don't got eyebrows, I promise I do. Cause I don't know. But yeah, today I just worked on like, I guess I could say more organization, bookkeeping, I guess this week. Bookkeeping, I still got a lot to learn, like, yeah, I still got a lot to learn. Like, I gotta learn how to do spreadsheets and stuff, but I'm sure that's gonna be easy peasy lemon sweet so yeah y'all i really want to start like consistently doing like big videos and i want to come out here like with my hair done always like come on here looking I still want to have like my moments like this so I can show y'all that like I'm a real person. I'm a regular person. Wait, I'm that girl, but I'm a regular person. Um, But yeah, I want to start doing like more life, lifestyle vlogs and going out and just showing y'all like I'm telling y'all, stay organized through the whole year. Don't wait till the end of the year. Don't wait till tax time. Don't wait till, <laughs> until you need, every, stay ready so you ain't never gotta get ready. Okay. Although I was like, I was, I was organized, but I just stopped along the way. Like I was printing out my receipts and stuff and then I just stop and let a bunch of receipts and invoices build up. Bunch of them build up and stuff. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. I can't wait to go on a trip with my man. Speaking it into existence, <laughs> I want to go on a vacation with my baby. I want to go on a vacation with my man. I'm ready to do live. Okay, I'm ready to just live luxurious, live extravagant. I'm the type where I want to be like, every month I want to take a vacation. Every month, and, and is, and is. Every month I want to go somewhere Preferably like out the country. Every month I wanna go somewhere and then every milestone I hit, I'm gonna give me something nice. Like my first designer bag, I'm gonna get that probably like, I don't know. I don't know, 
I'm gonna know when I wanna purchase it, but I'm gonna wait until I hit like some of my goals in my business before I go cop that. Like, I own like not high end designs, but I own like designers from Macy's, like Guess and like I like Guess Coach, stuff like that. Like. I guess middle, but I wanna I wanna be able to give me a Chanel bag. I am I am going to give me a Chanel bag, but I wanna be able to like just splurge when I feel like it. But splurge on a budget, cause I used to think budgeting was for broke people. My mom was like, you need to learn how to budget. I'm like, that's for broke people. <laughs> Until. I did not believe in budgeting until I realized what not budgeting do. So I'm like, oh, this why she was saying that I need the budget. But no, I really thought budgeting was a broke person sport. I really thought that was broke people sport. So yeah, so now this year what I'm working on is budgeting. I'm gonna have a budget for anything I purchased this year. I haven't really purchased much for my business so far this year. Um, because I'm still working with everything that I already purchased. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be offering wholesale on my website. And like all, like wholesale and individual sales. So I should be able to like sell out of that and then purchase more inventory. But I'm, I'm getting my budget together. I wrote down the prices of everything that I'm going to um have to spend like how much versus gel gonna cost how much gloves gonna cost how much shipping label like everything that i use for my business i wrote down everything um for everything i might have to go back and check to make sure like i got like every little thing even to the tissue paper that goes into the box even to what like everything so then I'm gonna calculate that to see what my monthly budget will be. And like at the, I learned this from Bougie Barbie. I've been watching her videos from like two years ago. Um, like my monthly budget, I'm gonna make a monthly budget. And then the budget part I learned from my mom, but every like first of the month, I'm going to purchase inventory for my business. Like I'm gonna restock on inventory. And that way she said, that's how you're gonna see revenue more revenue coming in as opposed to if you just purchase little things here and there like you want to be it's all about being organized like and she stressed that in all the videos that i've been watching i love the vibe i love to watch it because it's like she really built her business from ground up so i'm like yes yes like i'm going i'm so yeah, I'm like I'm a t I'm taking like tips from her and like other business other businesses because I don't want to call my business a small business because I don't like that. My business is a business. It's not small. <laughs> it's a business. But yeah, so I can't wait y'all to purchase my first designer bag. I think it's gonna be Chanel because I always uh I. I always like i'm not a big designer person i'm not into designer but like i'm a luxury girl now don't get me wrong i shop at shein i like to shop i like i like little for i like to pay a little for a lot like that's me now when it comes to clothes i don't budget but i do prefer to pay less so i can order more if that makes sense so yeah, so stuff like that, like I'm, I'm a bargain shopper when it comes to clothes. Like I want a lot of clothes for a little money, but still like I'ma still end up spending a lot because the clothes are, they're not expensive. So I want a lot. Hopefully that makes sense. But so yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna be working on budgeting. And then once I hit, once I, once I hit like some goals um then which i have to specify my goals like what do i want to make this month and I, I really gotta sit down and think about that i'm gonna write that in my maybe my planner or my no i think i'm, I'm gonna write that in my lip gloss notebook 
it's right here i'm gonna write that in my little life notebook y'all i write everything down it i feel more accomplished when i write things down it say love yourself um i've had journals that are prettier than this but whatever um i love me a, a pretty something pretty to write in i love me a pretty pen i love me a pretty notebook okay but yeah so um yeah i gotta write down my goals but once i start smacking them goals i'm gonna give me probably a chanel bag or yeah i really want chanel i don't know like i don't know much about designer because i always say i'm not into designer but that's but once I get to that tax bracket, baby, it's luxury, everything. Now, I'm not saying, like, every day I got to have designer head to toe. I've noticed that the luxury girls, what, like, what, what you do is your outfit could be from Fashion Nova if you want it to be. Your outfit could be from wherever. But the accessories, that's where you got to make it pop. So, if I got on, like, let's say a little brown dress. Then I'm gonna have like a Louis bag, you know, and some Louis slides. I can't wait, y'all. My business is gonna boom. We're gonna mark these words and then we're gonna come back to this video in a in a couple months, in a few months, because I'm gonna I'm gonna work it. Okay, I'm gonna work Instagram, I'm gonna work everything. So I can't wait. And then I'm gonna do a video on that when I purchase my first luxury purchase and um but yeah it's just like one thing i'm learning is you have to stay consistent if you want to see movement if you want not movement if you want to see things how you see it in your mind if you want to see it like right here in the physical you gotta stay consistent with those the way that you think about it you gotta stay consistent with working towards it you gotta stay consistent like you have to keep going you can't stop and at one point i was like that was this was in the summer summer 2021 this was in the summer i had tried to put out a well i did put out a summer collection and I had so many different lip glosses plus my summer collection and I wasn't organized. I was just getting into organization, but I wasn't organized. I was doing, I bit off more than I can chew basically. So I, I, I wasn't really getting customers. And then on top of the lip glosses that I already have, I added a summer collection with a whole bunch of different lip glosses. And after I that I get up. Uh, after I got done making those lip glosses for the summer collection, I'm like, uh-uh, nope, I don't want to do this no more. I told my mama and my brother, like, I don't want to do this. And they was, they both gave me the same response, like, what? You just spent all that money on <laughs> inventory, and now you saying you don't want to do it? You better sell some stuff and then find something else to do then, if that ain't what you want to do. So, I had just overwhelmed myself. I would say if you don't have a steady like if you don't have like consistent customers then wait to put out a special collection like a summer collection a Valentine's Day collection you want to build like you can but I would say to make it easier because that just made it like for me I'm trying to keep up with like the summer and I wanted to do a Valentine's Day collection. I wanted to do a Christmas collection. Every holiday collection. I wanted to add new lip glosses to my website. But it was just like. Slow down. Because you have to get customers. You need to focus on. Focus on one thing at a time. When you get a, a steady customer base. Then that's when you can start. Like adding collections and stuff. Special holiday. Limited edition collections. But really, y'all can do whatever y'all want. That's just a tip for me, what I think. Um, but yeah, y'all, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to move into a condo. I don't know, though, because my mom was like, my mama told me that I, I need to get a house. 
so that like I won't have to be paying rent. But like I feel like I'm not ready for no house. I want to live in a condo. Like I don't want to just go to a house. I know that that would be like that would be. I guess that would be a smart investment for me. Like as an adult because like I'm gonna be like somewhere where it's like I'm paying to own or like I, I just bought this house or whatever but I just feel like I really want to live in a high-rise condo like I want a nice view I want to live luxurious like and I can't wait y'all until I start getting hair promos and i want to build my personal instagram y'all can follow me at the royal betty t-h-e-e -E, royal r-o-y-a-l betty b-a-d-d-i-e i, -E. I want to start being more active on there this year but i'm really like i be like i don't want to i don't want to be seen every day but then again i do be wanting to post but i don't know i don't know i just be conflicted but i know i want to uh i want to start working with brands like through instagram and getting paid to post content on instagram and i know that i have to be consistent with that as well like i have to post consistently on instagram i gotta get my page out there like y'all i just got so many plans for myself and my life i can't wait to take a trip with my men I can't wait, y'all. Y'all finna see the glow up, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna try to pick the camera up every day. I don't want to say that I am, but I'm gonna try to because I don't want my content to be, like, redundant. Like, okay. Like, uh, hi. I don't want y'all to feel like give us something different or something like that. So, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to pick up the camera, like, every day, every other day. We'll see. But y'all, y'all, I just popped y'all head off. It's like we had 18 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I really need to write my goals down. I'm about to I'm probably about to scroll on Instagram and then write some goals. If not, I'll scroll on Instagram and then write my goals in the morning because it's 6 25 and i've been doing this since like 10 a.m like i'm getting it back excited about it because i told y'all i had wanted to stop at one point because i wasn't getting no orders but like i had literally just started i wasn't posting consistently on instagram none of that for my business page and i'm like yeah why am i getting no sales i'm like i wasn't even ready for sales to be honest but now I'm way more organized. Uh, I, I have a business plan. My mama been telling me to make a business plan since I don't know how long. But like since the beginning of all this business talk, since the beginning of when I told her like this is what I want to do and stuff, she was telling me, okay, you got to make a business plan. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Just like how I was listening to her about budgeting, I'm like, that's for broke people. And a business plan, I'm like, this okay i'll get to it but literally you cannot do nothing without a plan and i heard that in a video that i was watching two other people said make a business plan and i'm just like my mom was right like she keep telling me make a business plan but i was just kept putting it off i just kept putting it off and then i heard two other people say i'm like maybe i really do need to make a business plan then i I bought Bougie Barbie. I bought Bougie Barbie course. Uh, her her boss your life up course. And I'm like, I need to make a business plan. Uh, yeah. So then I read it somewhere that said make a business plan. So I'm like, I, I need to make a business plan. So I started a business plan and y'all can look it up on youtube i did say in my video that i was going to teach y'all how to make a business plan but like i probably get around to it but like i want to say it's kind of difficult like it's not difficult but it's just like you really have to sit there and think about these questions that they're asking you they're like what are, what problem are you solving like why do you do what you do 
what problem are you solving what is the result of that it's just like a lot of questions that require you to think and do research so i don't really know if i'm going to make a video on how to make a business plan i'll probably eventually get around to it but y'all it's just a, it, every i've been waking up choosing to be happy every day choosing to be productive every day so i've been waking up in a good mood i've been um waking up like on business i've been waking up happy i've been waking up being productive like get my day started with business and i'm loving it because i know exactly where i'm going with this i know i know i know i know exactly where i'm going with this this is going to open up so many doors for me like I wanna do, I wanna model, I wanna work with brands, like I said, I wanna get paid through Instagram posting. I want like, I wanna build my YouTube. I want like, I don't know, I want my own little crew. Then I wanna travel, I wanna meet new friends. Like I wanna meet my crew, my girls. Like, cause I don't really have a friend group and i really want a friend group like i really want like at least one or two girls that's like my friend that's my bitch so <laughs> i want somebody that i can go go to the club with we can go out to eat we can go out to dinner we can go we can get pretty we can go do this we can just go to target together i don't really shop at target i shop at walmart but when i'm feeling like if I want to get some content, I'm going to go to Target. So, Because Target is just a vibe. Walmart is a different vibe, but Target is just like... It's like one of them, like, hold my purse like this bad. It's like it's like one of them type of vibes. But, yeah. I just want to... I don't know. <laughs> I want to do so much, though. Like, I got plans for, like... That's another thing, too. I got plans for like uh, another other businesses that I want to open, but it's like I have to focus on one thing because I'm like, oh, I should start this too. Why? I'm, but I have to get this my lip gloss business off the ground first, and then I'm like, and then I was like, okay, I sell lip gloss. I'm I'm gonna add body butters. I'm gonna add this. I want to add. I wanted to add a lot of other things like lipstick. I wanted to add chapstick and other things too. But I'm like, I don't really use those things. I'm, I was watching Bougie Barbie old videos from like two, three years ago. I went back and watched her old videos. Cause I'm like, I want to see her start from the beginning. And I'm so glad that she had them videos there where she was like starting up her channel. And I did used to watch her channel back then, but like I just fell off her channel and then I caught up with her like, last year or the year before that or something like where her business was booming already by then so i kind of missed like the i kind of missed the upcome like the i kind of missed the coming up but i was there for the beginning of it but then i fell off her channel so i went back and watched her videos because i'm like i know she was like i want to see like what what was she doing i know she was giving out good tips i'm sure she was giving out like I wanted that energy and she gave me exactly what I was looking for so um yeah I had I forgot what I was saying oh she has said everything that she sell on her website she has a passion for it so like me trying to sell chapsticks I don't even really use chapsticks so it's like I'll probably get into that one day. I'm not even gonna cap because sometimes I do be wanting to use chapstick, but I just pick up my lip gloss. But um I don't know, but it's just like she was saying, make sure you have a passion for what you sell. And I'm going back printing out my receipts from everything that I bought, and then I went back like I went to all the way to the end so that I can find 2020, but 2020 receipts but i went all the way to the end so that took me to 2018 receipts 
this is where the invoice is at. I went all the way to the last page, trying to find 2020 receipts, but the last page took me to 2018 receipts. And in them receipts, I just kept seeing like lashes. I'm buying lashes, lashes, lashes. I didn't even have a business idea in 2018. I just see lashes, lashes, lashes. I'm like, wow. I really used to buy lashes like very often and I tried to stock up on lashes so I will always have lashes available for me to wear but the thing is and I, I, I found lashes that I like that I will wear over and over but I never like ordered them over the same pair of lashes you see what I'm saying like I found lashes but I never like kept up with a signature pair of lashes which like I had lashes that I felt like, I felt like they fitted me good. I don't know why I didn't keep ordering them. I just kept finding different lashes. But <sighs> what I'm saying is that I'm a lash type of girl and I fell off of lashes like 2020. I think I like just fell off lashes, but because I used to love lashes like 2018, 2019, oh, I was fine with lashes, 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 lashes. And I still have lashes. Like I think in 2022, I was buying lashes, 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 lashes. But I just and I just stopped wearing lashes. So I'm gonna get back into that because I sell lashes and eventually I'm going to sell wholesale lashes on my website. And I just feel like lashes do enhance your look. I'm not like a makeup wearer. Like I don't wear makeup every day. I tried it, but that's just not, that's not my thing. Like makeup every day is not my thing. I think I'm really pretty with just some gloss on my lips. Pop on some lashes. Y'all, I used to be a lash pro. Like get them lashes on. Now I gotta practice to get my lashes on in record time. I gotta uh, practice again. So yeah, but I, I was just I was just looking at my invoices and I'm just like I used to wear lashes like crazy. Like I used to be crazy about lashes, but I used to get the long lashes. But I think I like shorter lashes these days because like my eyes are small, my face is small, my head is small. <laughs> so I think shorter shorter cat eyelashes. I, I go for the cat eye. Those are so sexy on me. And yeah, so I'm really finna get back into doing my lashes. I'm gonna keep my nails done. I'm gonna keep my hair done. I wanna start like, I wanna start wearing wigs like often, very often. But cause, I, cause I'm growing my real hair like, my real hair has grown so much. It was damaged from me permanent it, coloring it. And then I, I used to wear, um, so in, so that leave out, baby, fried that. That was, it was fried like bacon, okay? But yeah, so now my real hair is at a healthy state. I be clipping my ends and stuff like that. I do all my hair, like any hairstyle that I have, I do it. I did go to a shop like two times in my life, three. Three times in my life, I went to like a shop and let someone that I didn't know do my hair. But, um, yeah, so, but now since I, I, I learned how to braid with weave, I was so happy once I learned that. I learned, and it took me a minute to learn that. That was like hard for me. But I learned how to braid with weave, so I be doing my own braids myself. I be doing like, all my styles myself because when it comes to that like I want to be comfortable I don't want to be I don't like going to shops that's why I don't go because like I'm not a I'm I don't know I'm not a shop type of gal but yeah so I can't wait to start getting paid for like hair promo for uh, clothes clothing promo i just want to do it all and then i got so many ideas in my head that i want to execute but i'm gonna start out with this lip gloss i'm gonna get this popping and i'm telling y'all so may y'all <laughs> i'm so ready y'all um 
So yeah, I hope this motivates somebody to keep going with their business because I'm telling y'all, there has been times where I'm like, I don't think I want to do this. And I'm just thinking like, once I start getting wholesale orders, I probably will need help. So I'm probably gonna have to like pay my little sisters to help me with the wholesale orders because like, I know that's gonna be like a load. But yeah, I'm going to offer wholesale on the website. I'm going to put them in tubes for you guys. If you want to sell lip gloss but you don't want to make it, that's where I come in. I'm going to sell tubes. Like, you just order. I ship them to you. And then you just ship them to your customers. And also, I'm going to order wholesale jars. Like, I'm going to sell 8-ounce jars where you can put the lip gloss into the tubes yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm finishing up my website. I'm doing like the last finishing touches, y'all, because I had did a website on WordPress.org. I did a WordPress.org website. And when I tell y'all I did not know what I was doing, I was actually coding and creating the website myself. Like I created that website from scratch and i hated it i did not want to touch that website because if any one little thing went wrong i had to know how to fix it because i created it from scratch and sometimes the website would it would crash and i'm like oh my god now i gotta figure out how to fix this on top of me having to make lip gloss and stuff and on top of me being unorganized and I'm just like, I'm not a coder. This is all new to my eyes and it's frustrating. This is not what I want to be doing. But I didn't know that I could just get a website, like find a host, a website hosting, a website host, a host, a website host. I didn't know that I could find a website host that just lets me plug in everything. Like I just change the colors and then I just put my products on the website. That's it. I didn't know that. I thought that's, that was the website that was how I had to do it until my mom told me, like, I was like, Mom, I hate this website. I don't want to deal with it. I don't even want to log into the website. And she was like, I explained everything to her. She was like, oh, that's because you created a website from scratch. You did coding. I was supposed to use website, I mean, wordpress.com, but I use wordpress.org. So that's another thing. If you're going to use WordPress, make sure you use WordPress.com. I think you will have to pay for it, like a monthly fee, or you, I think you can pay yearly. WordPress.com will let you plug in everything. WordPress.org will make you create the whole website. And that's not, that's not my thing. That's not what I want to do. That's not like, I don't want to spend time and energy on that. That, so that in itself, so that in itself was draining, y'all. I'm not even gonna cap. But yeah, I done talked y'all head out. I hope this video is not that long. I hope it's under 30 minutes. Really, I hope it's about 20 minutes or less. So yeah, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Today is January 1st, March 25th. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow on the 26th. Um, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and let me know what type of content y'all want to see from me in the comments and until next time, baddies, medium germ, bye.